Lovely. One more deep breath in that way. And exhale through the mouth. Nice, everyone. All right. Let's take some nice, uh, big circles with the head now. So circle that head and neck around. Big circle one direction. And then reverse that. Good. And then taking the arms out nice and wide, and then just tipping over to one side before relaxing the hands down. Big side stretch. And then pushing the mat away. Deep breath in. Really tip over using your core, and then relaxing down to that side stretch. And up. Nice. All right, then lovely. Let's come straight over to our four point posture. We'll go straight into our cat and cow. So. Really focusing on opening and expanding through the back of that body here. You're also really nice one to do if it's the first bit of movement that you've done for the day. And always just moving it left and right, coming on to the other. Feel it tickle with your spine here. Just opening it wherever it needs to. Alright, lovely work. Thank you. 
keep focus on that upper body to go nice and square here as well. And then in. Let's do one more there. Good. And then out to the side. Remembering you're already flabby on the knees, tall, small like here this time. For those who haven't done enough from the hips. Exhaling to lift, inhale to lower. Let's do one more. Good, focus. Good, good, good. Now come down, both hands down. Flex up, foot up, palms down. You just want to wake up those hamstrings. Thinking about that alignment, strong with the shoulders for five, four, three, two, one. And bring it down. Nice, everyone. Just have a little push back in your shell stretch. And then coming over to roll down onto the mat, rolling down through your spine, bring the knees in with you, and then let's have a nice little roll out of our lower back. Just having a little breath. And as always, just take your feet to the mat and have a quick little windscreen wiper, flatten that lower spine. more challenging version with our bridge work is to have the arms up just to create a little bit more sort of resistance. Otherwise bring your arms down to the mat, whatever you prefer, our focus is our mid area and our back heel. So we want to make sure that our feet and our knees are aligned with our hips. So this happens a lot with the bridge. Our knees start to just open because it feels a little bit more sort of comfortable. So I really want you to focus on keeping it all in the line. So pelvic floor tilts to begin. We're going to tuck the pelvis draw the hips towards the ribs. Think about drawing up your lower pelvic floor muscles up and under your rib cage to tilt the pelvis. Like, think about like a little triangle, we're sort of tilting it towards you. And then pushing that little bit of resistance away. And then we repeat that. We tuck and we squeeze, we imprint our lower back to the mat. Feel that flexion here. And then pushing it away. Yeah. So that slow movement, just mobilizing with such awareness, is what really activates these lower muscles for the day. Um, really switches them on and wakes them up. And push. Now we're going to roll it up. So really slowly peeling the spine off the mat one level at a time. Micro sort of level of pain here. All the way up. And you keep looking towards the ceiling to protect the alignment of the neck. At the top we rise and we're going to just reach those arms back if you are doing your arms otherwise just hold it here if you're not and then bring them back and then roll down with the heels lifted all the way down as you drop your bottom arch your back and drop the heels and we reset back so slowly As you get to the top, we keep those heels pushed a little higher, and we reach the arms back, bring them back up, and roll them down. Really slow. Dropping the heels, breathing again, exhaling. Keep also thinking about your feet really suctioning into the floor so they're nice and strong here. When you, especially when you lift your heels because you're taking the weight just onto the balls of your feet there. Good, now we're going to stay here. We're going to open those knees nice and wide now and squeeze them back in. Opening them out. Keep the hips lifted and squeeze. So nice technique. Don't dip your hips here. And squeeze. Those two hip bones like two lights on the front of the car coming directly up to the ceiling for one more. Nice. And roll it down through the spine. Slow, slow, slow. And just dropping those knees from left to right. Really good job, guys. Well done. Alright, let's move into some uh, single leg work. So placing your feet down to the mat, squeeze your left knee into the chest and Open up that hip, which should feel really nice at the beginning of the day. After we've been sort of stagnant whilst we're sleeping, those muscles get quite tight. Yeah. Some Pilates is such a good thing to start your day with. Uh, quite a, a gentle, although Pilates is so hard, but it is a gentle 
control of the core. So we're not opening the pelvis and swinging the leg around. And we're going to keep it really controlled so that our muscles in our tummy are absolutely initiating this movement. Now we're going to reverse that. We flex and lower. Good. Big scoop around. Squeeze it up. Inhaling to lower. Big scoop around. Big scoop and squeeze. One more. Scoop and squeeze. Nice. Just bend that knee down. Give it a squeeze in towards your chest. And have another little sort of rock with your knees. Just have a moment to let them uh, come and relax before we do the second side. Good work, everyone. So let's take the right leg in now. And then same thing, just take some time to really open that hip, little circles in both directions, finding space there. Excellent. And then leg comes up and then taking those circles into your ankle, both directions. Nicely done. Okay, same arm as that. He's going to go down to the floor. We're going to press that arm down. We're going to lower the leg and reach the opposite arm back. Inhale in two, big pair. Exhale to squeeze across. And inhale, lengthen to lower. Exhaling. Lengthening to lower. And exhale. Good. Everybody keep that breath strong. Nice, good work. Hug that knee in towards your chest. Now we're going to go straight to it, uh, our knee for, for our core now. So coming up, taking that hand directly onto the top of the knee once you have this little stretch up, and then sending your left leg out on the same for pulse for two. Breathing in and exhaling. Good, breathing in and exhaling. Good, now we want to really keep our um, focus on our upper body here today, so chin away from our chest, elbows are wide, we're drawing those abdominals down as we do this movement. Good. Keep pulling and keep control. And squeeze. And squeeze. Good. Four, three, two, and one. Nice. Take the legs straight out. We're going to just go into a very brief roll up. We're only going to do a couple of these today just to find some core motivator. <laughs> Reaching the arms back as you exhale. 
spine, doing that tilt spine. As you're sitting against the wall, dropping the shoulders and then curling back. Nicely done, everyone. Reach your back. Here's our last one. Deep breath in through this area, squeezing down as you come up. Nice. And bend your elbows, bend your knees, have a little windscreen wiper. Really good work. All right. Let's come over to our side. So just coming down onto your side position, pulling your neck, or stretching out long. And we're going to take some underneath like this. So stretching both legs out, top hand just placed in front of you. You don't want to have this top leg too high because it's sort of very difficult if it's too high. Yeah, so sort of if you were in like a parallel stance about that, without a foot distance between them. Squeezing the underneath. And one more, nothing else is moving, just mobilizing that arm, and we hold for five, four, three, two, and soften it down. Lovely work, guys, well done. Taking that underneath arm across, have a lovely quick stretch there. Very good job. All right, swing the legs round, or just rolling yourself over. We're gonna do that all on the second side. As you did on the first side, make sure that you're going to support the neck in the same way. So we begin this first one. Top leg <clears throat> lifting up and then underneath leg to squeeze and down. And squeeze and down. And squeeze. Good. Then thinking of that inner thigh. Fusing up to the top. Finding those muscles. Fine. And then squeeze. Good. Couple more. Nice. Now you're going to take that little lateral side swim. So you sort of start slower. Then we're going to pick up the pace. Chopping, chopping, chopping. For five. Two and one. Nice. Take that underneath arm down. The top arm is going to reach over. Remember, if you need to, you can drop your legs here if you need to. As you exhale, push your floor, you're going to reach out. And then inhale, slide back down. And exhale. And slide back down. Good. Exhale. And down. Let's just one more. If you're going to do three on this side, go ahead. You can have one little extra on this side. Squeeze and hold. And relax. Nice, everyone. Okay, push straight up now. You're going to go straight to that little side plank. But find a little push of this side. Also remember your underneath knee. You can 
can drop it if you need to. Big circle and exhale. Inhale, big exhale. And one more. Hold it strong. If you hold for five, push the mat away for three, two, and soften it down. Lovely work, guys. Just pushing yourself up. Have a quick stretch. Nicely done. All right, my lovelies. Let's do a quick cool down. Very good work, everybody. So just coming over, we'll do some of our stretches to your hands and knees. Taking your right foot forward into your lounge stretch and just letting your hip start to open a bit deeper. Really always making sure your alignment is neat here. So you want to have your front knee directly over your front foot. That's it. And then gently start to walk that foot out to the side. Now you may stay here for a slight little lizard variation. You can drop down a bit lower, reaching that twist if you want to. And then pushing the mat away, coming up, and then just taking that front leg back. Have a little wiggle into your hips to reset from the second side. And then bringing your other leg forward, finding your lunge stretch. And then keep thinking also about like someone just gently pushing your feet back into the pelvis. And then foot to the side. And then go gently roll up through your spine and switch from sides. Sitting nice and evenly on the tailbone. Deep breath in as you're preparing. Reach up tall and then exhale as well. Find a little breath there. And then rolling up. Good. And then we'll take our feet. We might do like a four four fold now, so taking both legs forward, sitting on your seat frames, and just reaching forward. So working back, relaxing the head and chest down. So the back can release. So I always find this one a lot harder at the start of the day. Just when your hamstrings are fully open yet. Also your neck. One more deep breath, rolling up, nice. All right, returning to your seated posture, lovely people, and we'll just finish, as always, with some nice grounding breaths before we move into our day. So taking the knees, you can take your knees, taking your hands up to your knees, or however you're sitting, you can have them grounded in the floor. And just again, reclosing those eyes, connecting with that breath that we can establish through that practice. Lovely, slow inhalations, slow exhales. Lovely, we do our three breaths with our arms. Like so drawing the arms up, take your deep breath in one. And exhaling, deep breath in. And exhale. And last one, deep breath. 